Hey everybody, Mark here with San Diego Miramar College and today we'll be talking about bleeding control. So bleeding control is one of our random testable skills, but before we talk about the random testable skill, let's talk a little bit about why we do bleeding control and the ways we go about deciding what bleeding control devices to use. So we have a bleeding control algorithm here. This is straight out of the textbook. So apply direct pressure slash apply or pressure dressing to the injury, okay? Now, this branches off, it can go one of two ways. Direct pressure is effective and the hemorrhage is controlled, in which case you would apply a pressure dressing, or the direct pressure is ineffective, meaning that it's not controlled, and if it's an extremity injury, we'll use a tourniquet. If it's a non-extremity or a junctional area, as long as it's appropriate, we will use a hemostatic agent. Now these are the two options we have other than pressure dressings broken down. These are the common ones found in the County of San Diego. So that's just what I'm gonna teach you guys. We'll start off with the combat application tourniquet, the CAT tourniquet. We're on generation seven. And it's basically a wide constricting band drawn tightly around the limb for temporary rest of all distal blood flow through a large artery in the limb. This windlass can be cranked down and there's a piece of webbing that runs the entire length of the band that actually tightens with each crank of the windlass. The indication, severely injured extremity when direct pressure or pressure dressing fails to control life-threatening hemorrhage. Direct pressure failure not required prior to application on a mass casualty incident. Procedure, apply the tourniquet just proximal to the hemorrhaging wound, that's about two to three inches. Tourniquet must be applied with enough pressure to block the arterial blood flow completely. Tighten very firmly until bleeding stops and distal pulse is eliminated. That's very important. If bleeding continues to, okay, sorry. If bleeding continues, apply a second tourniquet as high on the extremity as possible. Note the time of application on the piece of tape secured on the tourniquet that can be seen right here. And the patient should be immediately transported to a hospital with surgical capabilities. Now, quick clot causes rapid localized coagulation, forms a stable blood clot in a variety of wounds, does not absorb into the body, and does not produce any heat. It comes in this package right here, this black package for our EMS providers, and it's Z-folded. Indications, life-threatening hemorrhage in the trauma patient when tourniquet cannot be used or to supplement a tourniquet. Contraindications would be bleeding controlled with direct pressure using standard gauze. Special information, this should be applied with a minimum three minutes of direct pressure. The procedure, number one, open up the package, remove the combat gauze, keep the empty package, do not throw it away. Number two, pack the combat gauze into the wound and use it to apply direct pressure over the bleeding source. If you can find the artery or the vein, depending on what the bleeding source is, you wanna apply direct pressure on the vessel. Continue to apply direct pressure for three minutes, Wrap the wound, tie the pressure dressing, and place the combat packaging inside the pressure dressing. So that way when you get to the hospital and they take it out, they have the removal directions from the manufacturer right there on the table. So the different types of bleeding, arterial bleeding that will be characterized by bright red and spurting, usually indicates a severed or damaged artery, most difficult bleeding to control and requires constant direct pressure and sometimes takes upwards of 20 minutes to control. Again, that's the hardest one to control. Then you have venous bleeding, which is dark red blood that's steady flowing, usually indicates a severed vein. It can be profuse, but easier to control than arterial, excuse me, let's just say arterial, due to the lower pressure within the vessel. And then you have capillary bleeding, which is intermediate color of red, slowly oozing, indicates damaged capillaries. That's easily controlled. However, as large body surface area involved, it can be profuse. So that's a little bit about bleeding control from a bird's eye view. Let's talk about the skill. So obviously you're going to start the skill with standard precautions, scene safety, and the proctor will indicate that the patient has a bleed. Let's just say it's on their forearm. You apply direct pressure using a sterile bandage. You apply direct pressure, the examiner states the wound continues to bleed. Okay, now a tourniquet is indicated. So we'll grab our tourniquet, we'll make sure that we apply it correctly. Make sure to watch our video on the demonstration of the tourniquet 
to see how it's applied correctly. Then the examiner will state the patient is now showing signs and symptoms indicative of hypoperfusion. So properly positioning the patient, placing them supine or semi fowlers on the gurney, whatever's most appropriate, apply high concentrations of oxygen. So it should be 15 liters a minute via non rebreather mask. Initiate steps to prevent heat loss from the patients. A couple of things you can do, you can cover the patient with a blanket and you will also indicate heating up the ambulance. And then you will verbalize the need for immediate transport. So we're going to move this patient off scene as fast as possible. We'll now initiate transport, however you wanna say that, you just have to end the skill with the need for immediate transport. So critical criteria, pretty much everything is critical criteria if you don't say it just because it's such a short skill. So hopefully that answers any questions you guys had about bleeding control shock management. I hope you guys learned something. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on Canvas or leave a comment down below and we'll see you back in the lab soon. All right, bye.